Okay, so this time we're really going to let the bad guy uh, be a training troll, and you're really going to try to anticipate where you're, uh, where the defender's going, and you're going to start trying to stab him as soon as he starts to move, and uh, you're, you know you're just going to anticipate his counterattack and try to troll him. And what we're really trying to do is to uh, force that uh, that modified X block to come out, and we're trying to force uh, him, the defender that is to uh, get his hands in precarious positions so you can learn where those precarious positions are and, uh, and then try to avoid them. Like so right off there you can see it's not as easy for the bad guy as you would think. He knows what I'm doing. He's supposed to be training to troll me but still because I'm coning in I'm dictating the action. And again, that time all I was able to do was to uh, defang the snake. You felt like you were defanged? I got a good cut on the inside of it. I was going for your pick of two. Oh, shit. I don't know how you missed my belt. Two things are going to happen. It's going to be coming at you. You're going to chop it. It's going to be over here going away from you. You're going to chop it. Or it's going to be out of the zone. And you're going to miss it. You're going to be going anyway. It's just one issue.
that knife for? Ben. Just hold it in that Chinese stance like you are. So the big thing I'm coning on when he's the Chinese guy, I'm just coming in right here. That's all I'm trying to do is forearm on forearm. Then I'm free. I can now chop down here. I catch this and I'm free to start my knife hand versus his. And I'm coming in here where he can't grab me. That's all, that's all coning is. Coming in, you know that knife has to move from there. It's here, it's gotta go somewhere. Just come on top of it, that's all you gotta do. Now that one time he did a little move on me that first time, he went out, then he went in. So when I slapped, I missed. Then he came at my head. He wound up punching me in the mouth. But still, my knife was here. I would have yeah. finished him off. Uh, just because of the way he's holding your knife. So I got in a bad spot there because I've got him wrapped up and he's got this knife down here like this. So what do I do? I just check him off away from that knife. Throw him. I'm actually, because now his fighting, his, uh, his fighting center is behind him. So when I threw him off, I threw him off this way. So now <laughs> what would have been his fighting center is now on me, but not really because this is where he was stabbing me. So I got that 180 degrees away from me. I don't know if you caught all that, I just want to say it because I don't know if you caught all what was happening. You almost defamed me, right? My first strike. You got me like that, and then you wrapped around. Right. Like, oh, okay. I'll grab the whole bar. Yeah, I got you. Yeah, I'm going to grab the whole bar. 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 Yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna be a sucker. Oh, that's my go-to move, man. Oh, I got the go-to move. I should have had, I should have had this. Right, right. And then it would have been. If you had just kept that hand where it was supposed yeah. to be, I would have hit the hand. Yeah, but I went. It's kind of sometimes. You start to see my advanced stuff now. Some of my go-to moves where I set you up, just with a knife movement. And again, if you just continue to step off the center line using his own one or his own two defense, I'm never going to be able to get you with these. It's when you want to hang in there in front that you're going to get had. And again, what I'm doing here is it's, a, it's, a, uh, it's an angle one. Then I come in with a, an angle uh, uh, eight stab. And then I bring it back around up top. And I catch that neck on that one again. But it goes high. Then it goes low. So you, your tension goes high. Then you fall the attention low, and then I come back up high from way over here in this blind spot. And I can do the same thing here. You know, I'll come in here like this, and then I come back here. Those are some of my go-to moves. Just catch a lot of guys with that type of stuff. But again, if this guy's just steady stepping off the center line, he's gonna just uh, defang my snake on one of those. Well, it sounds perverted when you say it that way. He's gonna defang my snake. <laughs> he's my good friend. <laughs> Get my friend Bob. That's all you gotta do. That's all you gotta do. Smile. Smile. I was about to get the finger. Yeah, you can do that. Too. <laughs> you can do that. <laughs> get my money. Yeah, yeah, here you go. I mean, if you want to have a win when you leave, just flip the guy up and go, You didn't get my money. That's a win. I, I, I didn't tell you guys. I almost got uh, robbed by two guys the other night. And uh, that was kind of the situation. Turned the tables on him. Did a trailing uh, party uh, ambush uh, move on him. And it wound up to where I, I had him flanked. This is uh, moving out in the parking lot. These guys are moving, trying to... What they were trying to do was distract me. And another guy was going to come up and bash me in the back of the head. Kind of an arm, uh, a uh, hammer and anvil ambush type move. But uh, I had seen the... Uh, 
the uh, hammer. And so uh, then I started moving through the cars in a way where I was able to uh, turn uh, uh, the ambush onto him to where I was coming at a flanking position at him. I pulled out my knife and uh, all of a sudden he goes jogging away. <laughs> it was so funny, I almost started laughing. But you know, the, the fact of the matter was, was the, the juices were flowing, uh, my adrenaline was flowing quite good. And I really should have when I first started doing the uh, trailing party ambush move where you know, your uh, ambushing party goes off the main trail. I really should have just gone around back where I came from, but being a demented son of a bitch that I am, I'm you know pissed off that these guys put the victim on my head, and now I'm here to show them who the pussy is, and it's not me. So that's why I did the little move, get trailing, uh, get uh, turned on the guy where I can flank him, and he goes run away. So now we know who the pussy was. But anyways, uh, that's stupid. I mean, you know, the guy could have had a gun or a knife. But that's just the way I am from, you know, my time in the Marine Corps and just, you know, all your uh, individual action drills, da 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 The shit just comes out. I don't even think about it. All of a sudden, all I know is I'm in a position where I got him, I'm flanking him and uh, I'm getting ready to go give him a, a dose of what I've got. And, uh, you know, it's, you get you get confidence in your skills <laughs> where maybe you shouldn't, you know. That's all I really can say. I've had this happen, almost the exact same thing happen before and almost the exact same thing happened before. Uh, the only difference was was I had a knife that I could uh, use a uh, centrifugal opening on in the other one. So I popped the centrifugal opening right when I got to where I was at this guy. Whereas with this one, I had a different type of, uh, of a knife and I had to open it more quietly, let's say. So I didn't get to uh, fire for effect, let's say. Saw it. You know, he likes to, uh, he's learned this move from me, this trailing move where you stab behind, kind of ice pick fashion. When you got the Chinese, you try to get the guy this way. But I laid my chest on the back of his forearm, on the back of his uh, tricep, and I hollowed my body out. So now he couldn't get to my body down here because I'm trapping him, actually using my chest to trap his arm. And again, we don't always use what works best. I force myself to do something to the left. I force myself to do something to the right. A guy with the Chinese with the right, while well, I have the knife in my left hand, a zone two defense just isn't the correct thing to do right there. It's too easy for him to bring that knife on me and my knife is too far out of the play. It's kind of knife versus knife. And uh, uh, I'm bringing my empty hand kind of out of the field of play. So it's a little tricky there. We'll talk about more about this. Uh, in closing lessons, but uh, just to touch on it now, force yourself to go both sides. Again, we're at a point where you do what you want now. You have all the defensive, counter-attacking, uh, Coney, modified X-Block. I don't have any more uh, secrets, let's say, <laughs> to pass on to you other than some, uh, some strategic information, you know, based on how the guy uh, uh, fights himself. That's all I really have left. I don't have any more secrets. So. You know, just defend the way that you feel comfortable right now. Again, if you're getting picked apart on something, then you might want to go back and say, what from what he taught me before should be able to fill this in and work on that to fill it in. But again, if you're going through your first time, uh, don't really worry about it. Just go through it again from the beginning and rework on those early drills. And the best way to do that is to get somebody else who's never been through the class and now you lead them through the class. That's uh, one of the things I learned from Code and Con uh, Jiu Jitsu is junior teaches, uh, excuse me, senior teaches junior. Sometimes the junior is teaching the senior along the way. Uh, you, you learn a lot from that junior while you're teaching him, even though you're the senior. And uh, again, that's a good thing to do, is just go through it again. I tell people you got to go through this whole course four times 
uh, to obtain a black belt. And I really don't care. Uh, how can I say this? I really don't care what your skills are at the end. If you've been through the whole thing four times, I'll give you a black belt, okay? Because you can't really get through it four times and not obtain a high level of fighting skill. And again, you can see how good Scotty's getting. I mean, I'm still able to uh, whittle him apart a little bit because he just wants to fight instead of use strategy. Strategy is required, okay? And that's what we're gonna get into is a lot of the strategy. Uh, so anyways, I'm yapping now. I'm gonna kill you. Alright, I'm gonna kill you. That's what you wanna get into. See, now as I try to follow you, you're just stabbing me up. You know, that's the old dog chasing your tail. Yeah. That's what I can never do before. You're like, get this man in, do it. Right, right, right. Well, I have the trap, but I'm right, like, right. Now you just gotta try to work that up for my next attempt. Yeah. Put a little uh, uh, black red varnish on it, finish it up. Kill. See this guy in the park, pulls his weapon. So I deep back his thing, I lack the bars. I made him uh, swallow it. This is a disgusting one. Okay. I'm like that way up here, but I yeah. still. You're still stabbing. Yeah. So my, my forearm, too. You know, my. Okay, this is reverse tr attack uh, trolling. We're probably going to go straight through uh, with all the different holds of the knives because we're only going to do like three each or so. Yeah, you see, he's really trolling me, man. I mean, I barely turned my head on that one. He was coming at my head. That was just uh, body English, you know, uh, ducking out of the way. He nicked the hair as he went by. That was a stab on the last one. I just ran out of the way. Now, don't finish there. Make sure you finish over there. You're trying to get away. Give me a mark. No, you just come across like this and you block it. Oh, 